So we are in chapter uh, four, lesson eight, and what we're going to do is divide fractions. You've had dividing fractions in fifth grade. You focused a lot in sixth grade. And so basically in seventh grade, it's just a review. If I would just throw up these fractions, if I would just say um, three divided by one fourth, you guys could sit out at me and how do you divide the fractions? What do we do? We put it over one. Keep, well, put it over one, right? Yeah. First. So we keep, change, change flip. So you guys know what we're doing. Yes. Okay, we're just going to add just a little bit of a step on top of that. But two things. One, instead of saying flip, I want you guys all in your book to circle this word. And I know it's in red. It's Reciprocal. It's important. You've seen it. You've heard it through me throughout the year with our bell work. It's called a reciprocal. I just did it today in today's bell work. Okay, so instead of when you're dividing, it is like multiplying by, oh, I forgot to change that to multiplication sign. Like multiplying by its reciprocal. Okay. Then normally you guys would just do 3 times 4 is 12. 1 times 1 is 1, and 12 over 1 is 12. That's great. You guys know what you're doing. Okay? We're going to step it up just a couple notches. Just like uh, we had a couple lessons ago. If we have, for this example here, 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths. I need eyes on the board here. 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths. Don't write it like this. You would just write it up and down, right? You're gonna, and I want everybody to do this because I want to see this on your paper. I want to see 7 eighths. And this is the one time I really need to see it. Divided by 3 fourths. You're going to write the original problem. Then you're going to do the keep change, flip. Now here we are in sixth grade. I know you guys worked on it, but I, it has to be a definite something that you're doing in seventh grade is going to not just do seven times four and eight times three. I'm going to do what I did with multiplication because this is multiplication. Cross cancel. I'm going to cross cancel. You need to circle those. So 8 and 4 can be divided by 4. So the 4 becomes a 1. The 8 becomes a 2. Can I reduce the 7 and the 3? No. Can I reduce anything from top to bottom? No. So now I do 7 times 1 is 7. 2 times 3 is 6. I don't leave it as an improper fraction. I change it to a mixed number. And that becomes 1 and 1 6. Okay, are you guys with me on this? Yeah. Yes. Now, if you are still having a problem from going from an improper fraction to a mixed number, you just need to do the work. 7 divided by 6. 6 goes into 7. 1. 7 minus 6 is 1, so it's 1 and 1, 6. If you can go from here to here, please do. Save yourself some time. Either way, that is up to you. So everybody has shown all the work, correct? Yes. Now, when uh, we also looked at this a, a few lessons ago, I want you guys to put boxes around this section right there. I said, hey, this is pretty easy. We've done it four times. I go, don't think of it too hard. It's called a complex fraction. It's a fraction over a fraction is all it means. What does this line mean to do? Divide. 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 Any fraction is always a division problem. So no matter whatever you see that fraction bar, it's also a division bar. So it's just saying 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths. I want everybody to point to that middle one, put it a little arrow, and then just show the regular division sign. So you don't forget that that means division. Okay? So let's go on to some more examples. Now we have one third divided by five. So you have to change any mixed numbers or whole numbers to an improper fraction. So in your book or on your paper, you would have one third divided by five. You would rewrite it as one third divided by five over one. Over one. 
Make sure you have that step first. Then we can just do the keep, change, flip. But we're not going to call it flip in seventh grade. We're going to call it the what? Reciprocal. The reciprocal. Then I got to look to see if I can um, cross cancel anything. Can I cross cancel anything? No. Nope. So I'm going to show that I am just multiplying going across. So I have 1 times 1 is 1, and then 3 times 5 is 15. 15. And I'm done. Any questions so far? Okay, it looks like you guys are doing an excellent job writing notes. Second thing in seventh grade that's new is that we're going to have the negative. We've already worked with negatives with whole numbers. When well, we need to start working with integers. If I multiply a negative and a negative, my answer is going to be positive. Negative, positive. negative times a negative is positive. 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 We've got to make sure we're going to remember that because I said multiplying or dividing. It's negative times a negative or a negative divided by a negative is a positive. positive. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. negative. Odd number of negatives makes it negative. Negative. Okay, so here we're going to do the same thing. You would rewrite it. And I would just write 3 fourths times a negative 2 over 1. What do I want to do before I do anything else? Cross cancel the cancel. 2 and the 4. Cross cancel the 2 and the 4. I can, uh, the last example I circled it like this. Do I have to circle it like that? No. no. You could just draw your line through it, and the 2 becomes a 1, the 4 becomes a 2. Three. Do I have anything else I can cross cancel? No. So 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2, and my answer would be 1 and 1 half. Negative. 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 I was going to say, I'm out there pointing to you guys. You guys should have caught me. Oh, Look here. I have one negative, so it needs to say negative. negative. Always go back to your original problem. Because don't miss a problem because you're not having it negative. That's the biggest error that most people do. All right, I think you guys are ready to do a few on your own. So why don't you go ahead and do A. 3 fourths divided by 1 fourth. Uh, just A for right now. When you're done with A, stand up. multiplication and it would be 4 over 1. What do I need to do? Don't multiply yet. Cross cancel. The 4 and the 4 become a 1. Then 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. Now 3 divided by 1 is 3. Before I say I'm okay, I'm going to go back to my original problem and look for any multiplication. Yeah, any negative sign. Do I have any negative sign? No. So I know it's still going to be positive because a positive divided by a positive is a positive. Okay, yeah. you have a seat. Go on to B. While you're standing, take a second and look. What kind of signs do I have? One negative. I'm going to 
board. Bless you. Division becomes multiplication, and then I flip these two around, or and I don't want to say flip, I want to say And then I got nine eighths. Then I want to reduce by four. That becomes a one. This becomes a two. Let's say though, I wasn't thinking clearly that day. And that happens. We all know that happens, don't we? Yeah. But let's just say, okay, they're even numbers. So if it's an even number, what am I going to reduce it by? Two. So I'm going to just do the two right now. That becomes a two. This becomes a four. And then I look at the two and the four and I said, oh, those are even numbers again. Can I reduce those by two again? Yes. Yes, yes you can. And then one times nine is nine. Five times two is ten. But look what I got here. Negative. One negative and one positive, so it has to be negative. Go on to see. reduce at the end anyways and sometimes that's even more difficult because in seventh grade if you don't reduce it you don't get it correct okay so I'm going to reduce my six and my three what do I divide six and three by three three, three. so the six becomes a two and a three becomes a one okay so then five times one is five two times two is four a negative times a negative becomes a Positive, and I'm have to reduce it again. Okay, simplify it even more. Right? We need to make it a mixed number to it. One and one. Four. Okay, have a seat. The last example we have, it's the same thing as when we did multiplication. When you have a mixed number inside this, and I'm going to write this example down so then you can show me all of your work. I want everybody to write two thirds on the side divided by three and one third. Yes, I know they show you all the work there. That's okay. Let them show you the work. We're going to add a little bit more to this. You're going to bring down the two thirds, bring down the division sign. Because now you're showing this becoming a mixed number. Three times three is nine. Nine plus one is ten. And then I have ten thirds. They didn't show you how you got the ten thirds. I just right now I want you to see how to do it. Because some of you are still struggling with that piece. Are you writing this down? Yes. Then I rewrite two thirds times the reciprocal three tenths. Then I reduce by three, which becomes one. one. Reduce by two. Okay. So then one times one is one. Two. One times five is five. I've, I'm gonna go back up here and think, did I have any negatives? Nope. nope. So that's my final answer. I wanna see all of these lines, everything that you are reducing by. 
if my mixed number is like the, so if I look at D, like it is like the example we did at the beginning. What did we put five over? What do you put a whole number over? One. Because it doesn't change the value. If I have five over one, it's still, the value is still five. five. So you would rewrite it as, so in your book, they give it to you so I don't have to rewrite it. So I'm gonna write five over one, keep the division sign first. Don't try to do two steps at once. That's where most people make a mistake. Then this becomes what as an improper fraction? Four thirds. Because one times three is three, three plus one is four, so I have four thirds. Don't flip it in your head before. Write it down, then do five over one times three over four. Can I do any reducing? No. No. So then I just do five times three is 15, one times four is four. Do I leave it as an improper fraction? Nope. Nope, this, so this is 15 divided by four. Four goes into 15 three, three times. times. Three times four is 12, so 15 minus 12 is? Three. three. So it's three and three four. fourths. Again, if you cannot get from this step to this step, you need to just write 15 divided by four over here and show the step, which is fine. Go ahead and do E. Did you guys make this step next? Yes. Yeah. If not, it would be considered wrong. Then I keep, change, and I don't want to say flip anymore. I want to say reciprocal. I can reduce my threes by three, right? Three divided by three would be one. Three divided by three would be one. And then I'm going to reduce by two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. two. One times one is one, two times one is two. So I look here, I've got one negative, one positive, and answer is going to be negative. negative. Don't forget to look at the positive or negative sign in the number. Sometimes you guys get caught up in just doing it and you forget about negative and positive. Last one, let's see if the majority of us can get this letter F correct. Now I'll cut your work in half. No, you don't thank me yet. That's not what you guys do. Dividing by, what's my whole number go over? One. One. And then I'm going to do 
And then I keep change, change flip, flip, reciprocal, reciprocal. Seven. Anything to reduce? No. no. So seven times one is seven. Three times five is fifteen. Can I reduce that at all? No. no. Stay standing if you got seven fifteen. Yay! All right. Have a seat. Go ahead and, and stop that.